What's going on everyone? Welcome to Movie Emporium's movie review of Infinite Storm, the newest film from director Magazada Samuska. Now, before we begin, if you like this channel, awesome, hit the subscribe button to join Movie Emporium, hit that notification bell top to find what's coming next. If you like this video, awesome, hit that like button, as well as commenting below on any video that you watch, including this one. So Infinite Storm is a true story of Pam Bales, who's played by Naomi Watts. Uh, it takes place in November of 2010 when she decided she was going to go on a hike up Mount Washington in New Hampshire. Well, because of the situation at hand, there was a possibility or there was going to be a possible uh, major blizzard to come through. Well, in the process of her traveling back to her station where she parked, she comes across this uh, footprint of a sneaker. And that sneaker belongs to an individual who is literally out of his elements. He's not dressed properly. He is an individual that is, uh, in essence, trying to commit suicide, as we learn later on in the true story. And she decides she's going to help this person get him down the mountain. And it basically becomes a rescue mission where they have to get down there before they freeze to death. And so this is, like I said, a true story. Pam Bales at this point is a local legend, a hero. She made national news back in 2010 when she rescued this individual. Uh, she has since kind of uh, found this character who was named John and they become good friends. And she also received a letter from this character as well. Well, on top of everything, this kind of story has, you know, expanded upon through like religious groups and, you know, different newspaper outlets about, you know, always having hope and always having, you know, the drive and push forward of an individual to to help someone else that you know unfortunately didn't want to live you know that much longer and that's a really intriguing story to watch on screen you know those are the types of stories that really have an emotional impact when you watch them once again i didn't watch the trailer you know i'm starting to not watch a lot of trailers unless it's something big that that you know i just kind of go in these blind because i want to experience the movie and then watch the trailer but you know after watching this movie i can definitely say it's a really interesting really uh, thought-provoking but really well well done movie it's a movie that for 90 minutes actually keeps you on the edge of your seat just for the simple fact of even if you knew the story going in concept of having to go rescue someone in in the middle of a blizzard and having to do everything in your power to survive that's a really interesting concept and yes it's been done uh, quite a few times before in other movies and it also doesn't hurt that naomi watts is in this movie she's a really talented actress she knows how to you know convey really you know really difficult characters in a lot of aspects you look at something like i think it was like the impossible or whatever that movie about the tsunami she's just really good at what she does and here she's just absolutely fantastic you know i don't know if this is an oscar worthy performance because i don't know how the oscars think sometimes but I think it's definitely something worthy of praise and acceptance for how good she is in this role and how she just, you know, I think it embodies who this, as I've read through different news articles, embodies who this Pam Bales character is or this Pam Bales uh, individual. And I just think it's an emotionally uh, resonant story about just passion and compassion and, you know, drive and push forward and just an individual that thought more about the person that she was helping than herself. And that's why people like these become legends because they really just kind of embody what human spirit can be. And it just really works in this movie. You, even though this movie's only 90 minutes long, you feel the journey of her going up the mountain and rescuing this guy and the kind of PTSD problems that she has after it and everything that she has to go through in this entire movie. And on top of that, the guy that she's rescuing just doesn't want to seem to be rescued and it causes more and more chaos as you know the movie moves along. But I think, honestly, I just think Naomi Watts, like, you know, Tom Tom Hanks in The Castaway, just really owns this movie, just really does a nice job, and really just kind of embodies who this person is and does it really, really well. So I have, you know, all of the appraise for Naomi Watts kind of taking over and taking on her own, like, you know, singular story, singular character in a movie that doesn't have, like, anybody else in it, to be fairly honest. So I give a lot of respect for that. And then the director, you know, apparently this film wasn't filmed in Mount Washington. Apparently it was filmed in Slovenia. It may have been like a budgetary thing. Uh, it's beautiful to look at. Like every piece of land that you see in this movie is absolutely gorgeous. It's perfectly shot. The music fits it pretty well when the snow comes in, which I'm sure there's a lot of visual work in that realm. And there's a lot of, you know, I'm sure they did have some snowstorms that they could, you know, kind of work with, but it really is shot and just really perfect in a lot of aspects. If I had any problems with it, I think it, it you know, it jumps forward too quickly in a lot of aspects when it comes to time. But I think to make the NFL effective 
not thriller, but it make it an effective biodrama and stuff like that and make it an effective, you know, rescue type story. You have to keep it on the shorter side to kind of keep it moving. But the idea of what they present is really close to what you see in the, like the news articles and stuff like that that I read. And it just feels like a movie that had a lot of care and love put into it. So I definitely recommend it if you like these kind of bio, uh, biographical dramas and stuff like that. If you like this kind of, you know, I wouldn't call them thrillers, but in the sense of rescue dramas and a lot of aspects, I think you really enjoy it. But it is, like I said, only 90 minutes, 90 minutes long. So it may be a little short for some people who are looking for more, something more substantial in a lot of ways. So, but that'll do it. That'll be my take on this film, Infinite Storm. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, in the comments below, do you know anything about the story of Pam Bales? Let me know in the comments below. Are you interested in seeing this movie, Infinite, uh, Infinite Storm now? Let me know as well. But otherwise, if you like what you see on this channel, hit the subscribe button to join Movie Emporium. Hit that notification bell. Top is fine. coming next. If you like this video, awesome. Hit that like button. And as always, we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.